Let's now see how we can build a variance-covariance matrix of returns of these stocks. There are different approaches to get a variance-covariance matrix, uh, but in essence it's uh, just calculating uh, covariance between uh, every uh, stocks. Here we have just two. So uh, let's uh, make the table for that. So uh, between Finair and Finair is just a variance. And uh, again, if I use Control Shift down, it would select only range till the empty cells. Remember, we have some. If I use Control Space, it would select the whole column in here. Control Space. Okay. And here's the variance of Finair stocks return. And then here, covariance between uh, Finair and Fortum. And uh, covariance is symmetric, it doesn't matter which order do we use. Okay, here is our covariance for Fortum. Uh, the same value would be in here, of course, again it's symmetric. And then the variance for Fortum would be this one. Okay, here it is, our variance-covariance matrix. Now, uh, we did it just for two stocks. Imagine we have 10, 20 it's going to be very hard to make it this manually. What kind of options do we have? We have our data analysis tool pack. And here we have covariance. And the input range would be our two stocks. Okay, we have labels in the first row. And the output range, let's make it somewhere here. We don't need to put it on a new worksheet. Okay. Yes, we have exactly the same numbers. We have one cell empty here, so uh, whatever values are just duplicated, so this other side of the variance-covariance matrix would be in Tables Data Analysis tool pack. So, uh, but uh, for this analysis, you will see that we will need the full matrix. So here, we still will need to get some manual work. Um, easier than uh, totally manual, but still half of, of a table, some manual work. But there is also a possibility to do to do that uh, without manual work at all. So uh, we will use a matrix multiplication function here. But for that, we need first to calculate the excessive returns. So let's get some extra space here. Uh, get these guys again in here. And let's call it excessive return. Excessive return is uh, simply every return minus the average. So let's calculate the average in here. Average would be all these guys. Yep. Do we have everything? Seems like that. Control backspace to get up. Okay. This is one and this is two. Uh, first sign average return is positive. Amazing. So Excessive return would be, <clears throat> again, we have some uh, weird reference, so uh, let's just type it F5, F5 minus this one, and this one should be locked, okay, and for Fortum it would be G5 minus this average return. Uh -oh. F4. Okay. Now the table is filled. Let's check control down. Is that yes till the very end? Okay. And also, uh, where was our empty space? Let's check here. Everything is okay. Yep, of course. And so now, let's copy the table. We need just the outside. Uh, what we need to get the variance-covariance matrix is a matrix multiplication of this one and its transpose. Actually starting from its transpose because we only want to have 2 by 2 matrix in this case. So, um, uh, first thing, when uh, you are using matrix multiplication function to get the matrix, actually a table, uh, then uh, remember before you start typing the formula, remember to select the whole table range you want to fill. So matrix multiplication, then array 1 would be transpose uh, this to control space. 
and array 2 would be just this one, the same. And now uh, for matrix multiplication function, you cannot do just enter at the end. You need to do control shift enter. Otherwise, it would return the mistake. And we don't have the same values. Why? Because uh, now we uh, also need to divide it actually by the number of observations. Let's count them. Okay. And uh, here we would say divide by this one, F4. And again, Control Shift Enter. Yep, and now we have exactly the same values. So uh, here's how we can get this uh, matrix automatically. So every time our data updates, the matrix updates too. And we don't need to perform any manual work as uh, with Data Analysis Tool Pack or with manually building that matrix. But for the sake of illustration, let's stick with the uh, uh, data analysis tool pack results. I'll show you then how to optimize all this uh, manual work and the results of the of the uh, data analysis tool pack functions.